This is the birth of our atmosphere. At first, it's a poisonous mix of carbon dioxide and methane. Then other gases take over, mostly nitrogen, and eventually the gas we will one day breathe. Oxygen originally was put into the atmosphere by bacteria as a waste product. Even though we can't see gases, they're a form of matter made up of atoms that have weight. Some gases are lighter than others. So any gas lighter than Earth's atmosphere will float, including hydrogen, the most common element in the universe. Just as water provides an environment for swimming, Earth's atmosphere, thinner than water, but with many of the same qualities, gives us something to push against so we can fly. Let's get a bird and give him a space suit just over his face and put him in space. And he's gonna flap like crazy and go nowhere. Things can't fly in space by flying as we know it. And why is this? Because flying requires you to have wings that are pushing against something. When you do a push-up, you're using the ground to lift yourself up. When you're flying, you're using your wings to push against molecules to lift yourself up. And the force holding this invisible ocean in place? Gravity. Pulling on the atoms of gas to keep them around the planet. You're trying to strike this delicate balance between using the atmosphere to support you and to overcome the sort of pull of gravity. Earth has just the right amount of gravity, just the right density of atmosphere to make flight possible. The eternal enemy of flight is also what makes flight on Earth possible. So we must rely on gravity while we defy it. <laughs> 